I realized I was dyslexic only a few years ago, uh, and it kind of coincided with my child's path to literacy. She was diagnosed with dyslexia at the age of six or seven, and in trying to educate myself about her, I suddenly realized, oh, that explains a lot. I'm dyslexic too. It, it was a relief to know I was dyslexic as an adult. It was also quite a stunning piece of self-knowledge because it explained so much. And without having to sound like, I don't know, Spider-Man's uncle or one of the Avengers, it suddenly dawned on me that my greatest weakness was also my greatest strength. I think a lot of adults are undiagnosed dyslexics and you kind of just muddle through school, particularly if it wasn't picked up. I found my early school years extremely, extremely hard. I went to four schools by the time I was 10. I was held back a year. They thought I was too young for the class. Um, the teachers, I think, thought I was stupid. As I look back at my childhood and surviving through school, I realized that I learned very on that I had to be resilient. You learn to be resilient. You also learn to be an extremely hard worker because you literally have to work double time to keep up with everybody else. But you're also kind of sneaky. You find alternative paths. You kind of plan ahead to, to, to make up for your weaknesses. In many ways, by the time you finish school, you're quite prepared for the real world. You become a bit of a street fighter. You know, the funny thing is I didn't choose television uh, I didn't even choose journalism to come into it. It kind of chose me. To write for television, particularly television news, is like a dyslexic dream because you have to write often in bold capital letters. The sentences are simple. You're writing two pictures and you need to take away all useless information. Anything that you put into a television news report has to be the real essence of the story. And then, of course, there's storytelling. Generally, TV news is an amazing place to be able to trust your dyslexic instincts, which is look at the big picture, identify the story, tell the story, and create a narrative that, that is, that is um, simplified so that an audience can understand the main issues. It's an amazing thing when you look back over your career and I think to myself, hmm, maybe because I'm dyslexic might be the reason I can do what I'm doing in front of the camera.